What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Clark Reviews. It's your boy, Donovan. Now, once again, I'm a few days late because I was chilling. Had some time off from work. I was relaxing, maxing, relaxing. But that's no excuse, okay? Once again, I was made aware that Cause see, I, I was kind of hesitant to do this video because it's just posters. It's just character posters. And I've been doing a lot of Godzilla videos. But it's important to keep up to date with the information and media that's being given to the public. And one of the gems were these character posters for the new uh, Godzilla King of Monsters movie. Now, we got the G-Mans first, okay? We got his with the black and the blue. It looks dope. It really does look dope. I like it. You know what's what's a what's a nice touch about Godzilla's is that uh, his some people call them fins, uh, back plates. They don't just light up like they're lit up heavily along the base, but there's like lines that go through them. It almost looks like um, like a like the design looked like it could be some type of language. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not, but it's the way you know they interconnect and they go through. Like they're a symbol. That's a better word, not a language. They look like they're like a symbol of something. They could be, but and they put the little girl on there for scale. One beef I, I always had with this Godzilla. You know, they always said he was overweight in the first one, which he was big, had a huge neck, but. I always thought they made his head a little too small. Like, I think his head should be maybe a third bigger than what it is, you know, to match his body. He has a little head, okay? I wish his head was a little bit bigger, especially with that big ass neck he has. But that poster is phenomenal. I like it. And then we get to Rodan's. So, I don't. Seeing, because I didn't notice the head in the trailer, but uh, Rodan looks more look like some type of hawk or bird than he does being a pterodon, uh, which is like a prehistoric dinosaur that flies. Uh, he, he got the horns. He has a beak. And he has like a bird. It looks like a bird tongue. And them claws, they look like they're talons, but they look like bird talons. And then you get to the wings, you know, with the lava in them, but it almost looks like feathers in this poster. Like, I mean, it looks cool. And like you say, you put him on scale with that, like helicarrier. But, um,. He looks like a bird or a hawk. He doesn't look like a pterodon, like he's supposed to. I don't know. Maybe they did that to make him more modern, but he doesn't really look like a dinosaur, kind of like he did back in the day. Um, Ghidorah's, he's huge in it. Like he is absolutely huge in it. But what I wonder is. Because he still has the same, like, um, for the poster, the same color scheme as kind of his ability. So Godzilla's blue because of atomic breath. Rodan's red because of uh, lava. His is yellow because of lightning. His lightning or electro, electric power, electric current that he spews out. But I wonder why his is more like... Um, like a design more than a picture. You know what I mean? Because if you look at Godzilla's, Rodan, Mothra's, it looked like somebody took a picture of him in action. Um, Ghidorah's, or Ghidorah, however you want to say it, kind of looks like a 3D design. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe they don't want to give too much of the design away, but I mean, it looks cool, but I wish it looked more realistic like the other three. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then uh, Mothra, Mothra is a, Mothra kind of, I mean, it's kind of like a darker, I mean, it's kind of like a, like a teal color to her. 
for the light. I don't know, because one of our powers is like God rays, the light. I don't know. Um, she's flying in behind helicopters in the poster like she's reinforcements. So they gave her talons and not talons. They gave her um, like uh, what's it like a praying mantis have? I don't know. I can't remember what they're called right now. I'll remember when I turn the video off. But they got uh, she's flying in behind them like she's reinforcements. Like she's coming to do damage with them big ass wings. Wings are huge. All three of the mugs got huge wings. Godzilla gonna be at a disadvantage. They all got the aerial advantage on Godzilla. So I hope his aim with his atomic breath is on point. Otherwise, the G-Man might be in trouble. Especially against Ghidorah. He ain't got no arms, but his power of flight is going to be off the chain. They already said it on the website. Um, other thing I like about the posters is how they have the names of all the characters going vertical. Like they're sideways, but they're going vertical. They have King of the Monsters under them. And Godzilla has his, you know, it's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Because, you know. He's the title character. But, uh, no, overall, man, I like the design. I've been thinking about making one my background on my computer. I got one on my phone as it. So, because I like, I like, like I said, I like that blue theme on there. So, I like that. I got the one. Let's see. There you go. So, I like it. I like it a lot. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy these character posters. A good character poster is always good marketing for the movie. Aquaman has very good character posters for the upcoming movie this week. So, uh, while you're here, like, share, and subscribe to your boy's channel. If I get a notification that you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back to you. Till next time, game recognized game. Peace.